Some lucidity here. Today we're going to be talking uh, a little bit about uh, Blade Tex Total Eclipse 2.0. And basically, what this product is is a modular ambidextrous holster. Uh, can be um, adapted to right or left handed um, just by switching these clips from one side to the other. And that will allow you to make it either right-handed fit or left-handed fit and it does that um, it has the large sweat guards on both sides so that it makes it easy um, and comfortable to wear um, all the time now this uh, holster here um, allows for um, toolless transitions going between a uh, inside the waistband or outside the waistband carry simply by changing over your supplied mod locks that come in um, these here uh, either you have the belt loops or you have the um, IWB clips now there are other uh, mod locks that are available and those would be um, an FBI cant that gives you a 15 degree cant to it. And you also have these um, belt clips that uh, by pushing up on two levers, you can open it up and allow you to put it on and off with ease, basically just by um, sliding it into your belt and locking the uh, locks. These here attach to the holster um, basically by sliding them into those ears and you put one on each side depending upon how you place them in. So on this position this would keep um, the holster off your body about an inch and that would allow um, comfortable movement these are articulating so the holster moves with you very easily now if you wanted to keep it closer to your body you can switch these to the opposite sides just like this and now this would allow you to bring the holster in closer to your body for concealed carry and it would also um, allow the belt would pass through the uh, mod lock go around the holster and through the other one to keep it safe and secure right up against your body and tight um, the these two mod locks the FBI can't and the uh, clip belt loops these are available separately they don't uh, initially come with the package and you can purchase them um, from the company uh, separately as far as the inside the waistband clips and the um, other belt loop mods um, those um, allow for different uh, variations of carry and um, whether you want um, to you go, go into work uh, with a say 
uh, on a belt loop and then you were going out and you wanted to make sure that it was inside your waistband, you could easily change it over and there is no issue with doing such. Now, the holster has a um, pausing lock trigger guard, which has a single screw here on the, on the side that allows you to adjust the tension, which would allow for, as you insert the firearm, um, it locks and, and becomes uh, captured within until you need to draw it out and then you have the tension um, that you specify um, on your holsters. This um, holster fits any um, one and a half inch belt, um, would be a great fit for uh, off duty police carry, uh, especially if um, you, know, you don't want to put a, a full size duty belt on um, in plain clothes or anything like that. So this makes it easy to uh, switch off to um, you know a, a plain clothes type of a carry holster. They just um, came out with light bearing holsters uh, for the SIG P320. The 320C uh, Glocks uh, 17, 22, 31, and 47. Um, those are uh, mostly Gen 3 through 5. Uh, some are only Gen 3 and 4. Uh, you'd have to take a look at um, what the offering is um, for your particular model handgun. They also, um, Blade Tech is a, has a lifetime warranty on any of their products so that if anything breaks, um, you contact them um, and they'll take a look at it and if it's uh, something that uh, you know, was uh, indeed broke, then they would replace it for you. On the package, you get um, the holster for your particular firearm. You will get two um, belt mods, and you will get two inside the waistband mods. As I said before, the FBI plant mod and these belt clips are sold separately on the website and you can purchase them at any point of time. The other thing you get with the package is you will get um, four screws um, that are half inch in length and you will get the four posts that go on the back side of the holster um, to put the wings onto each side or switch them around to whether you want right or left-handed carry. Um, I've been using this product now for approximately four to five months. It is a very comfortable holster. It literally does move with the body um, as far as because of the articulating um, points on the holster. There is no um, play in either of the uh, clips. Um, the only thing that I've come up with as far as a, if you want to call it a drawback, was I run a Steiner uh, red dot on my VP9. And anybody that has either a Steiner or any of the Acro or Acro P2, um, you might have to do a slight bit of modification to your holster to allow the firearm to fit in all the way. Any of the open um, red dots, you won't have any issue with. Um, so basically what I'm talking about is on this holster, Right here, uh, in this area, the um, polymer uh, was kind of folded in a little bit uh, just for aesthetics and look and smooth contour. 
and I had to take a Dremel and uh, trim that down and then polish the edges so that um, they were nice and smooth again. Um, and that was the only thing that I had to do for, um, and that's strictly because of the uh, optic that I use. Now, as far as another uh, con that I can find to this is you're probably going to want to find some type of a bag, um, like a Crown Royal bag or some type of a drawstring bag that you can keep um, in your locker or something with you. Uh, that way, if you need to change things around, you're able to do so and the clips are not getting lost, which in that case, you have to uh, purchase more, which they do have uh, on their website. The other thing um, that Blade Tech is stating is that um, at, at some point in the future, there will be additional mods for this here, whether or not it would be um, probably for Molly Adaptable or um, some other type of uh, platform uh, rigging that um, they would come up with. So look, uh, we'll look for that in the future, and once they come out, um, I will uh, get those and do an update to this and let you know um, if there have been any changes to um, the original workability of the platform and how the new mods work and fit. So other than that, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. And um, the, the only other thing that I can suggest is training. Training is one of the most overlooked uh, things that a firearms owner can do. And we run classes all the time um, for pistol, rifle, red dot, and we also run um, low light, um, night vision courses, vehicle courses. Uh, so if you would are interested in uh, having us come out and um, uh, come to your ranges, uh, drop us an email and we uh, can see what we can set up and uh, we'll come out and give you guys some good training. Um, other than that, uh, just um, you know, train as you will with the clear, concise consciousness of mind that will allow you the finest skills to protect yourself and your family and loved ones. And with that, until the next time, have a good day.